Hello, in this tutorial, I'll explain you about a very interesting feature of Open Refine, that is the undo redo function. The undo redo function of this tool gives you the flexibility to make mistakes and to rectify them. It gives you an opportunity to make a lot of trial and errors on your data. So I'll just give you a demo and explanation of how this function works. I'll just select a file from here. I'll select this Excel sheet called as Facet. Then I'll try to import it into my document, into my tool. Click on next. There's a preview of my file. I click on oh, create project. Yeah, there you go. Uh, now I'll make some changes in my data. I'll try to create a facet by clicking on the state. Uh, I'll click on the text facet. Okay, here is a facet being created based on the column state. Now what I'll do is like I'll try to make some changes into my data so that I can demonstrate uh, the undo and redo function. Now I can see is that uh, there are lots of Californias here, CA, 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 there are different types of I'll try to fix this, click on CA, and just a step, one of the second step. Now while doing that, I try to purposely uh, insert a mistake from myself. Here is the state name is CO. I try to purposely change it to CA so that I can use the redo function to find out my mistakes and change it. Okay, the CEO had around uh, eight columns. Uh, now you can see that the step been, has been mentioned over here. Mass edit eight cells in column state. Okay, uh, proceeding on, I'll still make one of the mistakes so that uh, another uh, editions on that. I'll try to make the CA. Okay, I'll make, this time I'll make another action. The, the, the state name is CT. There are five columns on it. I'll try to make this as CA also. So now that I've uh, made a couple of steps, now I'll just check what what all steps have been uh, conducted by me. So there is a this is a list of steps. There are five steps that have been listed over here. These are the five steps that I performed after importing the sheet. Now I've made some mistakes, uh, intentional mistakes in the third and the fifth step. So if I want to go back to the second step, I can just like go on and click on this step number two that will make uh, take me three steps behind and even all the data over here will be changed as it was earlier. So now you can see that the CO with eight rows and the CT with five rows have come back. So, and if I have the, that is the undo function. So if, suppose if you were to go back to the fifth step again, you can just click on the re redo function. Just uh, going back now, you can see that the CA, CO and CT have disappeared. So, by doing this, you can just play around with your data. You can make lots of mistake trial and error, and then uh, you can know how to implement this kind of function. So that is all about undo and redo function. Thanks.